Jaguar One of the most dangerous predatory animals that live in the jungles of South America for a long time, people had respect and reverence for this predator despite its relatively small size. The jaguar is known for its cruel disposition and ferocity, which makes its opponents tremble with fear of whoever decides to stand on it. His path will undoubtedly become the subject of his wrath. There are times when the jaguar summons even a crocodile who wants to have breakfast with the owner of the jungle who has gone down to the watering hole. However, the story that happened in the Amazon jungle confirms that our view of the world depends on how we want to see it. Even the most dangerous predator in the end differs little from ourselves. If we look for differences, then many of them will be in our favor. A detachment of Brazilian soldiers of three people was on a boat moving downstream of the Great River to check whether there were illegal activities of loggers and poachers destroying ecosystems in the desire to make a quick profit. This patrol was carried out regularly. The Amazon in these places is extremely unbridled and uncontrollable. In order to pacify it and not collide with the sharp moons, a lot of experience is required. Javier, who has already driven a boat on a wild river more than once, did not feel much concern this time. The sun happened differently the night before the jungle was covered with a strong hurricane, and along the river there were branches, broken trees, and bushes which made it difficult for the boat to move. He did not want to damage the ship by colliding with some kind of moon. Gabriel, the detachment commander, looked forward with concentration, intently examining the water opening in front of them. The sight that he saw made him freeze for a moment. In amazement, he came to his senses, pulled himself together, and gave the helmsman a signal to turn off the engine. Javier was surprised by the decision of his commander because he had not noticed anything suspicious. However, he decided to obey. The boat silently glided through the water, slowly slowing down the speed what was going on, the commander asked Javier to Gabriel, who smoked a cigar. Look over there and you will understand everything Gabriel pointed his hand in the indicated direction the captain was prone to stinginess of words and preferred not to explain if he could show let Javier see for himself. And understand what was happening, Javier looked in the indicated direction and an uncontrollable shiver ran down his back. He saw how a young jaguar clung to a sharp boulder as if the last strings were saving him from death jaguars swim well. But apparently, this animal was unlucky. Perhaps he fell into the river along with a fallen tree. The current in this part of the river was so strong that even the powerful jaguar could not cope with it now. The animal was hanging on a stone like a mouse caught in a whirlpool of a puddle on the street. Jaguar knew that if he relaxed his paws, a wild stream with mad pressure would unwind him against the sharp moon. Or he would simply drown, having lost the fight against the elements. The people on the patrol boat also understood this. They could not leave an animal in trouble. Their job was to protect and patrol the riverbank area, but when they came across a case of saving an animal from an unjust death, he tried to explain to Gabriel that nature is often cruel but always fair. It's Stupid to feel sorry for a crocodile or an antelope because a predator eats, squeeze him why, force him to sink to the bottom of the river and tear algae like a cow. Javier expected the crew to burst into laughter and the captain to praise him for the joke, but the crew was silent and the embarrassed helmsman realized that his joke was inappropriate. He lowered his eyes and fell silent, removing his idiotic smile. Now he was very ashamed of his dumb chatter, blushed as if he had done something awkward. The boat moved with the flow straight to the place where the jaguar was desperately clinging to life. The stern captain internally doubted the correctness of his decision, and if the jaguar gets scared and starts attacking the team. Even though everyone had a weapon, their goal was not to harm the animal well. What if someone from the team gets injured, they could shoot, but the remorse would be unforgivable. However, simply abandoning the animal would mean dooming his tormentor and slow death one day. During a dangerous mission, Captain Gabriel and his team found themselves in a difficult situation. Their boat was pressed against an obstacle and they were in danger of breaking into a rock. In order to save his team, Gabriel made the most responsible and correct decision. 
he decided to take everything upon himself, risks, and to save his comrades. He sat on the bow of the boat and reached out to the jaguar, which was hanging on a rock. There was a big risk of damaging the boat and the approaching rocks in this position. The rest of the team armed themselves with hooks and pushed off the obstacle with them to help Gabriel. Such maneuvers made it difficult for the captain, who wanted exactly take aim to grab the jaguar. But finally, Gabriel made up his mind and took the wildcat by the collar. He felt that this was not a small kitten, but a respectable predator. The cat turned out to be not as aggressive as they initially scared them. On the contrary, the jaguar understood the man's plan and helped him, clinging with his claws to the sun that could support him. The hearts of all team members were pounding from tension. But they realized that the jaguar would not attack them. There were noticeable signs of relief and joy from the team. Leo even tried to depict how the wet predator was shaking himself off to cheer up in the dark, but the cat was badly damaged and weakened from the fight with the water. Gabriel decided to take her with him to the location of the team so that she would not die from hunger and disease. So the jaguar began to live in the military unit, received the name Jockey, and became the symbol of this brave detachment. The commander and his soldiers began to call themselves Jaguar, and this name became their official status. Jakey grew up into an adult powerful Jaguar. He could go into the jungle whenever he pleased, but always returned back to what seems then in the waters of the stormy Amazon, this Jaguar forever extended with people, mistaking them for his brothers, it turns out that good deeds are sometimes capable of working real miracles.